Welcome to this last show of 2017, uh, taken on December the 28th. Uh, I don't feel so great today, but I've got a really hot show for you. <laughs> I wanted to come in and be sure that you get it. I think it will start off your new year in the right way. There will not be a word today about uh, politics or other things, but no bad news. It is just good news, good things in, uh, among human beings, some fascinating things from Mother Nature. And uh, instead of enumerating them, I think we'll, we'll start right away. Uh, first of all, we're going to go to the first photo, uh, number one, which uh, shows um, a view from my uh, living room window south at about 7.15 in the morning, just a few days ago. And it just shows that if you look for it, um, many days may have just a few minutes of such a special color show in the sky that is really worth. It made my day and uh, it kind of can tell you that, um, okay. and it will tell you that uh, uh, there's something about every day that is worth noting. And if you look for things, you will notice more of them. So that's my invitation to you. It could make your day by just having a few minutes of that. So uh, with that, we're going to go to another show in the sky, not of colors this time. You will be seeing a video with birds in it. And um, it's an amazing video. I think it's spectacular. And um, it's the most in incredible sky riding <laughs> that you have ever seen by ten thousands of birds. Uh, they just weave through the sky like this. It is absolutely amazing. I don't think there is quite another video of the same kind. And of course, listen to the sound. Here we go. was awesome, wasn't it? The English language has coined a wonderful word for what you were hearing there, murmuration. <laughs> and as you notice, in the distance it may be like a murmur, but when it's right overhead, it's like a thundering sound almost. Amazing. Murmuration of starlings. You know, you have all those words like a pride of lions and a murder of crows and so on. That's wonderful words. Uh, our very limited science has no explanation for this phenomenon. There are clearly no leader birds. What we see is a large movement in the air that has taken a hold of myriads of birds. 
they are all simultaneously tuned, tuned in to this invisible dance master. They don't bump into each other. They are temporarily parts of a larger life form that moves them all at the same time. Well, I think it was a privilege to see this, and I'm so glad I found that. And now we're going on to the music awards. Well, <laughs> awards is not quite the right word. I have no awards to give. <clears throat> but what I want to do is honor several musicians who I believe have not been sufficiently recognized. We're starting with two of them today. I've brought you in several, several previous programs music made by human fingers on wine glasses. Uh, well, I'm going to show you a couple that has uh, gotten some uh, recognition for this on photo number two. Here is the Polish glass duo, Anna and Arkadius Srafaniak. Arkadius is for short called Arik. So Anna and Arik. And today's view from here honors them. They are shown here with the two halves of the glass harp that they developed over many, many years. You are looking here at 57 wine glasses out of a total of about 2,000 that have been used. These glasses are all at the exact pitch they need to be. No water is needed to tune them, which of course is a great advantage that I don't think any other uh, glass harp uh, musicians have achieved. Um, it took them 12 years to develop this version of the glass harp. And, uh, so those two musicians met as members of the Baltic Philharmonic Orchestra. Anna was a violinist and Eric played trumpet. And this glass duo is finally getting wider recognition in Europe. In the next video soon, you will see them playing a medley on German TV on the Südwest Rundfunk in Neustadt in February 2016. As you're going to watch that video, please watch the incredible movements of the hands and the fingers, which a friend of mine describes as uh, musical sculpturing is what you are looking, uh, looking at. Those movements are completely different from those used on any other music instruments. So let's go to video B and watch Anna and Arik Sravaniak. Uh.
Quite amazing, isn't it? Especially the fast sections with the many fast notes are incredible. You just try making a tone on a music class and do it short just for one moment. Very difficult to do. Uh, I could have done without the fancy colors and the fake ground mist that floats around their feet, but that's what you need on a TV show, right? I like them better at a church in Italy where the background existed of brick walls, uh, which we saw in a previous show. There is a heavenly simplicity about the glass harp and the way the fingers are used. I feel there is no need for fancy visual enhancements <laughs> as I've done in this one. And now we're going to go to the next photo number three, which shows that Anna and Eric also live very simply, as you will see on photo number three, uh, on a farm in Poland, I'm not sure where, showing off their harvest. Uh, so I am honoring these two for their love for music, their love and efforts for developing and then learning to play a very difficult new music instrument. And then finally for their very amazing teamwork as a duo. All of this involved love for what they do and also love for each other. And isn't the ability to love what we are here for on Earth? Okay, so much about the awards section. And for the next one, we are going to go the last part. We're going to have some simple fun with a marble machine. Uh, over here is uh, a marble machine built by my friend Joan, the one you also hear on the recorder at the beginning and the end of this program. Um, she built this in the 70s, I think, and uh, it was built it at a work week of the Country Dance and Song Society at Pinewoods Camp in Plymouth, Massachusetts, years ago, many years ago. And uh, we will demonstrate that now, and uh, we'll, I can st get started in putting just one in there. And then we will put several in there <laughs> and see how that is going to work. All right, let's see what we can do with that. Here we go. Uh, 
quite a uh, quite a nice little gadget. Simple. Now soon <laughs> we are going to uh, see something somewhat different. Uh, that will be a Swedish group called Wintergatan uh, that I think works from Göteborg in Sweden. Uh, they are a folktronica band. They somehow developed an interest in the kind of things that were uh, shown in, in the Netherlands in the Spilklok Museum, namely all of those mechanical music gadgets from street organs to uh, uh, orchestrions that play like an orchestra, but all done in a large mechanical way. And they started building this group, and it took them many hundreds of hours, uh, something that is also a marble machine using about 2,000 marbles, but it stands out uh, for being <laughs> quite amazing as far as the complexity of it is concerned. And um, since I'm giving out awards today, right, I might as well give them an award for uh, what I would call, um, they, they should be getting the Rube Goldberg Prize for uh, what they have added to music, which is not necessarily what you want to go to sleep on uh, and it's a somewhat monotonous tune that repeats forever, but um, it is such fun to see what they have done with this and how it works. So soon we will be looking at video, the last video of the day, uh, the marble machine of the Wintergatan group coming up now, uh, being demonstrated, and uh, that's the next one here.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this show. Um, I have a lot more interesting uh, videos that I found in all kind of corners on the internet that I think are really worth showing at, uh, showing some unusual natural phenomena that you might never have seen in your life and some special human uh, achievements and uh, performances. Um, I want to put the emphasis of this show on uh, being uplifting, uh, having positive things to look at, and I had promised that I'll keep political comments to a minimum. Uh, there is enough bad news out there. I think once in a while we do need to hear something but uh, I promise that there will be a lot of entertainment and joy and fun. So Happy New Year to all of you. You will be seeing this just when the New Year starts. And I'm looking forward to doing more of these next year. Thank you.